Good afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for December 29th, 2015. As you see on here, it's 4.01 right after the bell, actually for like 30 seconds after the bell. Basically, today was all about the market having two opposing forces. Number one, you had the ES is not acting well all day. You had the transports down 56, but you had that counterbalanced and you had oil down you had gold down you had banks down but that was counterbalanced by this spectacular performance of the fang stocks look at the nasdaq up 525 even when the es's were down about a thousand or 10 points the nq's were down only like five look at the activity today in the googles of the world google up 16 dollars and it's looking like it's about to break out of this squeeze to the upside. Then you had Amazon, which had better sales than expected. In fact, even me, I mean, almost everything I did was with Amazon. It was amazing. Look at this. It's a squeeze. Closed down almost on its high, up 12 points. Then you had things like Facebook that acted awful earlier in the day, getting pulled up because of the Amazons and the, uh, uh, and the Googles of the world. Uh, Facebook ending up. 97 cents also in a squeeze as you see here so earlier today when it looked like it might roll over right here now it looks like it could be a flag on the upside you can't tell even the ones that acted awful today look at tesla was down at one time almost five dollars and then look what it did right on the close just straight up had this low right here i know it's easy to say this is positive divergence forget about that at the time it looked horrible and then what happened? Caught its breath, did this of having a higher low, basically had this little line here you could draw and just kept going the rest of the day. Still closed down, but only 260. Uh, actually, that's a bad mark. It was down only about 90 cents. So unbelievable how, fa how much it came back. Um, you had other stocks that I found were fascinating. So look at Baidu today. Baidu looked like buy don't earlier in the day. Somebody was kidding me and calling it that. Look how bad it looked here. And then look what it uh, did in here of this inverse head and shoulders right here. Then it formed a squeeze right there. And look at this right here. It did one of these stewie formations, I call it, when you have this little thing here. You can, I highlight it this way, and unfortunately it looks like stewie. I hope that doesn't offend anybody. Um, they actually had on cartoon, uh, something on, uh, on Prime Television talking about the top funny characters of all time. And believe it or not, Stewie was number one over Bugs Bunny, Mickey Mouse. I couldn't believe it. So I hope it's okay I mentioned a Stewie pattern in there. But getting back to it, as you see in here, when's the time to buy these stocks? I know people worry in the Baidu's of the world or anything of fear of missing out. But I want to show you on this, obviously on a daily chart, we see this right here looking like it could be a top. But if you decided to take a stab and buy Baidu, and I'm going to take off the, uh, uh, the indexes so you can see this better, you can't even think of buying it until it gets to this area in here, where right here it's trying to curl up above its moving average cross, and then the ATR stop. Plus, you had a little positive divergence. So the only time to buy this, if you want three reasons, take these three. One, because I like to have three reasons to do every trade. One, inverse head and shoulders possible. The Stewie formation. Second, crossing above its ATR stop, crossing above its moving averages. Those are three reasons right there. The other thing you had going for you is you have to combine that with market feel and at the time the Googles and the Amazons of the world were still going nuts on the upside so you had more than enough chance to buy right here between 189 see right here 189 and a half and 190 so the whole idea in there is maybe you didn't get the exact bottom but that was good for almost three points so always keep that in mind in there uh, what am I watching now for the uh, rest of the week one is I'm still watching the transports that are watch, uh, acting horrible Clo down here near their low for the year. But I've seen now, and I've gone back to even 2011, 2012, the divergence like this can last at most, it looks like, six months. 
this has been where this is broken down let's say in early November gone to a new low but really when you look at it look at a weekly and you'll see really it's a weekly it's been in a downtrend now since all of 2015 unlink this and look at the SPX on the right and you'll see that it's really a huge divergence now you have the SPX almost at a yearly high and you have the transports a yearly low that's usually Dow Jones theory sell signal only problem with this is other times when this happened is the transport just kick in and then catch up I don't see any leadership from the transport side so I'm going to be watching this divergence carefully don't forget one of the reasons we bounced today is this end of the year thing where you get some historical strength the other thing and I mentioned this on the simpler stocks premium on the forum this morning it's two things one is the amount of buybacks that happen in November and December and let me pull up this graphic so you can see it again we get it in front of me is about share buyback seasonality and I posted on the simpler stocks forum this morning that buybacks that companies cannot buy their back their stock within five weeks of earnings one of the biggest earnings periods January April July and so on look at the buybacks and this is a chart from Goldman Sachs basically this is showing that the buybacks in G in November and December are 23 percent of the total repurchase activity by companies is in those two months when is the lowest January three percent next April then July then October so all the earnings periods have very low buybacks which that doesn't mean that you crash in that time, but it does lead to more volatility. Always keep that in mind. To give you, for instance, look at Disney in here. Is when we really had a sell-off in August, Disney came out right here, right at the bottom, right here under 90, right around this area. They came out and revealed that they bought over $2 billion worth of their stock in that area and that capped the decline actually the stock went up 30 points from there I think that whoever was the uh, in charge of that should be writing their own uh, stock trading newsletter making 30 points but all kidding aside the whole point is when those buybacks were there it provided sort of like a put so it basically kept some support in the market when you get within five weeks of earnings the reason I say it's more volatile is all of a sudden you don't have the cushion of the corporate buybacks to sort of help a stock that's why I expect the next three weeks to be a little funky now when you combine that with that I believe the transports are near a low and the SPX is near a high I think unless you see some divergences start to improve you're gonna see the SPX get some wind taken out of its sales so I hope that helps today on the uh, like you know we still have the uh, special of uh, seven dollars for a 30 day trial uh, which now upwards to a thou over a thousand people have taken up me up on that also it looks like next week we're gonna start a live chat in the morning it's gonna be like an hour and a half before the opening and that I'll be on probably 20 minutes of that hour and a half live the other part of that hour and a half the other hour and ten I'll be responding to questions on the live chat will be much more interactive make everybody feel like they're a part of a community and I think having it an hour and a half before the opening it will really help people it could be the difference between them profiting or losing because they could see through me eyes of an experienced trader how I'm setting up for the day so I hope that helps and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow take care